Hey guys, Oxwalky here. So about five days ago, I finished learning CSP, which is a square one, I wouldn't call it an algorithm set, but it's kind of a method that solves cube shape and parity at the same time, which is why it's called cube shape parity. And this has about 90 cases, so it is pretty intimidating. And each of those 90 cases has four variations, which makes it a lot more complicated. But with enough time and practice, it's, it's pretty manageable. And if you use good learning techniques, like taking notes. And so I had a lot of challenges at first, and it was very slow getting started. But eventually it got easier as I got more familiar with the cases. And I learned to be more efficient with my learning. And so my number one tip for anyone who wants to learn CSP is to take notes. Notes are super important and super helpful because if you use notes, you don't have to constantly worry that you're going to forget the cases you learned yesterday because you wrote them down and you can just look at your notes. And the difference for me between just the looking at the document and looking at my notes is that my notes are more intuitive to me than just looking at the solution in the in the document I learned. And also, I use different counting positions for a few of my shapes than the document, so I kind of had to make up my own solutions for some of the cases, which is where my notes definitely came in handy. So I really haven't improved globally yet, I've, as I've only known CSP for about five days, and I'm still getting comfortable with all the cube shape solutions, but I think I still have a lot of room for improvement as I get more familiar with each case and can execute them like sub 3 which will be super helpful. And hopefully I will also become more consistent having learned CSP which is kind of part of the uh, benefit because you don't have to just hope that you won't get parity every solve. And so I'm very excited and if you want to learn CSP then I can't recommend anymore that you take notes. And in fact, I'll leave my notes in the description if you want an example of how I suggest taking notes. And of course, I'll also leave the resource I use to learn CSP. So thank you. I hope this was helpful and thanks for watching. Oh my gosh, what? That's PV.